Alan? Hi, Chris. I'm Alan Partridge. Horses. Love them or hate them. From Mr Ed to Silver, that's the Lone Ranger's horse. They're all here mingling with officials. Don't do that, please. It's the 6.13 Queen Henry Stakes, which is generally regarded as the litmus test for Derby form. Jockey folklore says that uh, if you cock up the Queen Henry, you might as well ride the Derby on a cow, which, of course, be a complete waste of time. Let's uh, have a look at the betting. The going today, of course, caused Moist to Tricky. The betting, Diabetic Charlie at 3 to 1 favourite, two headed Sex Beast at 4 to 1, and at 20 to 1, Mrs. Boothroyd's Holiday Dancer. All the rest, 50 to 1 bar. That's all for uh, now. Join us later for the race. Back to you, Chris, in the studio. Alan, have you got a tip for us? Uh, I was. I did have a tip, but. Uh, I was going to tip New Year's lad, but he's uh, horse box hit my Volvo on the M3. Um, terrible mess. Apparently he's, uh, he's dead. So, bad luck there. Back to you, Chris. Stop it. Hello again. The 6.30 delayed due to a collapsed paddock. They're just sorting that out. Men and women here wandering around like ants on an anthill. Good to see Platitude Queen. A renowned horse, well known for its sense of humour. Look at that wiggle. Marvellous. I don't know what that is. Two to look out for. Number one there, Zena Badawi's 20 Hotels. And uh, number three, two-headed sex beast. It's great to see the death catered for by these uh, real characters in uh, anoraks couple of youngsters there fooling around. Let's hope that that uh, tomfoolery doesn't escalate into blind, ugly violence, which, let's face it, none of us want to see. Two fat ladies, 88. Oh, bingo expression there. Although these ladies, I'm very sure, are uh, not the kind of ladies who you'd find at uh, the bingo hall. They're altogether a better class of fat lady. Look at that lovely girl there, chomping on a sandwich. Oh... Oh, that is. Hope it's. Uh, <laughs> hope it's not a dead horse. They're not going to fit it in the back of a uh, Volvo 340. Actually, I hope it isn't a dead horse. Sorry. Back to today's races. Alan Partridge is at the. Um, oh, this is bad. Let him line it. Let him line it. I'm Alan Partridge here at Marple with me. Um, just a quick look at the betting. Onion Terror, two to one favourite, seven to four, massive bereavement, and 130. Trust me, I'm a stomach. All the rest, three to one bar. The 6:30 has a 50-minute delay due to a uh, fist fight near the paddocks between two officials. One of them now hospitalised. But uh, I'm pleased to say I have with me the winner of the last race. Come here, come here, Mickey Doolan. Hello, how are you? I'm very well. Are you now? Now, how do you feel about uh, the race there? You, you, you won that race, the last race. How do you feel about that? Well, I'm very pleased to have won the race. It was a hard yeah. race, won it by a nose at the end, you know, so... Uh, it's, it's and, uh, uh, what, and your mum and dad must be pleased. Now, what do they think of you doing this? Shouldn't you be at school? Do they not think you're sort of missing out on schoolwork? Well, I think I'll be a little bit old for that now. I'm 33 years of age, what? you know. That's right, I'm 33 years you're of age. You're 33? That's right, now. But I thought you... I mean, you look about 14. Well, I'll take that as a compliment, you know. Are you really 33 years 33 old? 33 years of age, that's right. Oh, my God! Well, wait, wait, all the others, are they, like, are they, th are they sort of 30... I mean, they're not children? Well, age varies from about, you know, 18 to 42, or maybe a bit older. But you're so that. small! Well, that's the idea, you know? I mean, if I was any bigger, if it was your size, then I wouldn't have won a race today. Right, that's why you never see people like Brian Blessed riding <laughs> horses. No, it makes sense. Right, well, thanks very much for talking to us, Mickey Doolan. Mickey Doolan here at uh, Marple. Ah, raining. Ah. Back to today's races. Alan Partridge is at the. Um, oh, this is better. Let him line it. Let him line it. I'm Alan Partridge here at Marple with me. Um, just a quick look at the betting. Onion Terror, two to one favourite. Seven to four, massive bereavement. And 100 to 30, trust me, I'm a stomach. All the rest, three to one bar. The 6.30 has a 50 minute delay due to a uh, fist fight near the paddocks between two officials, one of them now hospitalised. But uh, I'm pleased to say I have with me the winner of the last race. Come here, come here. Mickey Doolan. Hello, how are you? I'm very well. Are you now? Now, how do you feel about uh, the race there? You, you, you won that race, the last race. 
How do you feel about that? Well, I'm very pleased to have won the race. It was a hard yeah. race, won it by a nose at the end, you know, so uh, it's, it's and, quite uh, what, and your mum and dad must be pleased. Now, what do they think of you doing this? Shouldn't you be at school? Do they not think you're sort of missing out on schoolwork? Well, I think I'll be a little bit old for that now. I'm 33 years of age, what? you know. That's right, I'm 33 years You're 33? Of age. That's right, now. But I thought you... I mean, you look about 14. Well, I'll take that as a compliment, you know. Are you really 33 years 43 old? 43 years of age, that's right. My God! Well, wait, wait, all the others, are they, like, are they, th are they sort of 30... I mean, they're not children? Well, age varies from about, you know, 18 to 42, or maybe a bit older. But you're so that. small! Well, that's the idea, you know. I mean, if I was any bigger, if it was your size, then I wouldn't have won a race today. Right, that's why you never see people like Brian Blessed riding <laughs> horses. No, it makes sense. Right, well, thanks very much for talking to us, Mickey Doolan. Mickey Doolan here at uh, Marple. Ah, raining. Uh.